now that we have totally demolished Wayward Cave, as in, like, the cave has collapsed by now, we are off to the races. In fact, there will be horse races, and I'm not making that up. Play the game to find out if I'm actually making that up. We're gonna head over to the right over here. It's crazy. And no, we will not use another one this time. Not a hidden item there, not a hidden item there. How about right here? But is there a trainer here? That's the real question. This kid wears shorts the whole year. It must make winters very painful. Bird. Let us switch around. I guess Rock Dinosaur could probably rock this, no pun intended. Uh-oh. It begins. Yep. That's about right. And there we go. Didn't have to worry about Starly being too evasive. Slash. That coupled with f focus energy could be pretty fun. And I mean, Absorb is only so useful. If we had Leech Life, that would be definitely more preferable, but we don't, so it isn't. Get on in there. You need to improve your happiness. Sturdy? Nope. Take down. Hmm. I mean, it's decently strong. But it does do recoil damage. I don't know. Nah, I'm good. Chimchar! If you don't have a Chimchar in your game as far as starter or uh, rival, then this is the first time you get to see one. Here he is. Just don't burn me and we won't have a problem. He gave me a mischievous glance, as if to say, you're next. Can't believe Chimchar is freaking dead. Just pacing back and forth, are ya? Okay, okay, let's be quick about this. Meditite. Mm. Yeah. Just make it quicker. For me, I mean. Force Palm is a 60 power, I think, fighting move that also has the potential to paralyze. So, it can be pretty good in the right hands. Or palms. You know what I mean.
Once again, I'm pretty sure that's how wings work. Is that, is that interpretation out there in some capacity of a bird flying using its beak? Like, flapping its head back and forth, and that's how it flies? Aha, there was a hidden item there. <laughs> Laughter brings good fortune! Or is it that people who laugh bring good fortune? Because there's a big chubby guy who laughs that uh, brings gifts. That's a thing. Hiker Kevine. I know it's pronounced Kevin. It's just... I don't normally see Kevin spelled with a Y. Normally I see it spelled with a K. You know, K-E-V-I-N instead of Y-E-V-I-N. Mmm... Sure. Some up. I do really like the frantic piano for this part of the song. Maybe I should send in Basque to uh, do some damage at some point. Ah, it'll be fine. Basque doesn't have any uh, special grass moves yet. It just has Leafage, which is a physical one. The. The dire hit, by the way, um, it falls under the category of X items. X items are an item version of self-buffing moves that Pokemon can use. So, for example, an X attack will buff a Pokemon's attack stage by one, uh, excuse me, attack stat by one stage, there we go, uh, and X defend, same thing, but with defense. The dire hit increases the crit rate. So, that equates to, say, focus energy on something that has focus energy. I can't imagine who on my team would have it, though. Flame Charge is a physical fire move that always increases the user's speed. And does damage. Ooh, Meister's taking a brunt of these hits here. Yeah, Pachirisu is light as hell. Um, I think we're gonna switch out, make it a little bit easier. Aha! Yeah. All right, let's finish this up here. I, rem I didn't remark on it before, but I really like that flame wheel animation. A lot of experience points. Ah, oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. 
And scene. Thank you, guys. I just got the remote coronet, but we've still got fuel in the tank. Remember, don't use fossil fuels. If you need fuel while on a hike, bring a bean and cheese burrito. If you need a tutorial as to how to make a bean and cheese burrito, check out my video called Making Bean Burritos with What a Geek. This is a very accurate tutorial and the best way to make bean burritos. And I'm not saying that because it's me. Actually, I am. But you're not supposed to know that. Uh, we'll go with Gank, just in case that bronzer happens to have heat proof. Kill that mirror, see? It said something about my sister, see? Fairest maiden in the land is not Brittany from accounting. It is my dear sweet sister. From sales. See? I did. Well, before we head into Mount Coronet, I got the itch to go back into the Grand Underground. Hup. Oh, we got a big one over here. A big sunlit cavern. Badoo, Cricketot. Roselia, just a straight up Roselia. At the right things are going with uh Oh, there's a Silcoon. With I can't remember its name right now, Arbadu. The uh name is escaping me. Mask. At the right things are going with Mask, it doesn't seem like it'll be evolving anytime soon. Hello? Okay. I don't know what that icon was that just appeared over my character's head. Did it have to do with the Pokemon I just encountered? Okay, so this time when I encountered the Combi, it gave me the same icon. It looked like a Pokeball that just captured on its own. I'm not ke keen on capturing a male combi, though. Let's see if it pops up with this Badoo. Okay, it did. So what happens if... I send out my own Badoo! Bleh. Throw a Pokeball. Okay. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Also, uh, Spore and Powder moves, they don't work on Grass types. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. What I want to do is go after that Roselia. Because I want Mask to see just what it can turn into with enough hard work. Um, yeah, I guess. Once again, that icon is there. The male Roselia. You can tell because of the front leaf on its chest, or draped over its stomach. It's a little bit shorter than if it was female. Let's do Thief. Toxic Spikes, that's a good move. Q. 
Okay. I don't think I have any status afflictions I can inflict on this thing with my current team. Because I got rid of Sing a while ago. You know what? We haven't been using a netball on this thing that's clearly a bug or water type, so let's just use one. What do you mean it didn't work? I'm gonna need to pick up more Pokeballs. Finally, it decided to hit me with something. That's actually kind of strong. Okay, I'll throw one more Pokeball. If it hits me with another Magical Leaf, then I'll just defeat it. Jesus. Mind Reader? That is an egg move. That is not supposed to know Mind Reader. I did intend to do that. <sighs> My left hand decided, nah, you know what? You're gonna press up, all right? Alicia, the true thrills of being underground are digging for fossils and meeting Pokemon. I completely lose track of time when I'm down here. There are a lot of dig spots around here and I am, oh, hello. I do really wanna investigate. Mm, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, fine. Oh, that's what the icons are. Okay, it just occurred to me that because I'm in uh, local communication, that's what those icons are supposed to mean. Whenever it's uh, it shows up as the um, whenever it shows up with that Pokeball icon, that's to say I'm in battle with a Pokemon now. And whenever I'm digging in a wall, that little hammer uh, pickaxe shows up. Which is to say, hey, I'm digging in a wall now. Oh, I already got it. Okay. Uh, and... Just collapse it. I, there's no way I could get the fourth one at that rate. What is our new statue? It's an electric type. Rotom Heat. So that's an electric and a fire. Three confirmed. Cool. Another skull fossil. And a blue sphere. I've been using the analog stick to move the pickaxe around for a little bit. But maybe I should stop doing that. Because it's a lot more precise to be using the, uh, the D-pad. Oh, well, we got something there. It's a gorgeous box of rock? Cool. On the very last hit, we got it. Our shiny statue is of a pseudo widow. Okay, cool. Um, where are we? Oh, we're down here. Our secret base is, uh, I think, back up on that upper path. But because we're at the southwest of Sinnoh, we are in this part of uh, the underground. All right, well, we're done here for now. I need to go back to Orberg, get some Pokeballs, and head through Mount Coronet again. Or, not even again, for the first time. Let's scramoose. It is also now 10 o'clock, so it is no longer technically morning time.
All right, bye. I do want to check something in regards to honey trees. Uh, none are active. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. I would like to purchase your finest Pokeballs. Maybe I don't need 20 at this point. Um, yeah, I'll just give it 10. All right, bye. I could have sold my uh, sellable items like the nugget and the uh, and the stardust, but whatever. Oh, interesting. You can no longer uh, maintain your momentum when you switch sides rapidly like that. Okay. Okay, didn't look like there's anything over here. Except for a wild encounter with a Machop. Well, that was hard. Dude, sick hair. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Get out of my way. Alright, bye dude. Whoever you were. No item there. Let's just keep moving. There is an item there, and that is one of the new evolutionary stones that was added into Generation 4. I think it's the Dawn Stone that's down there. Route 208. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Got a nice little waterfall, a few log bridges. It's nice. Jared, dude. Yeah, now that it's actually daytime, the um, mountaintop is no longer foggy, or at least these battle sequences, series, sees, scenes? Scenes. Are not as misty or foggy. Although early morning mist slash fog is not a bad thing to have. I think it looks nice and picturesque. Also, so much for that rock polish. I'm still faster than you after you buffed your speed two stages. Geo, dude. Uh, I mean, sure. We haven't sent Cheruby into a proper fight yet. Its only fight has been against that Scyther, and we know how that went. Get in there, Leafage! Well, actually, maybe it's a good thing. That if Leafage was a special move and it did only that much, it wouldn't be able to knock out Geodude, but it's a physical move. And Sandstorm only buffs Rock Pokemon's special defense. So two hits and it's down. For all I know, it could have still been a two-hit wonder, even if it was a special move, because Geodude has the potential of having Sturdy. This Karate Man will pulverize you! Is he gonna be bringing his leg over his head? Oh no, that's a different Karate Man I'm thinking of. Yeah, this guy just does a Judo pose. I think I said something in a previous episode about the, um, the 
a trainer using the same animations as the female fighting type trainers in Galar. But I think what I was thinking of was the rock female trainers. I don't know. From uh, the rock gym. I want to say that is correct, but now I'm starting to doubt myself again, and I'm starting to think that the animation is actually from the water female trainers, like the water gym female trainers. It was the one with the, the looking surprised and then the hands on the hips. That's the one I'm thinking of. But I cannot decide which one it is. Help. I'm the dumb. Gank fell straight down. He fell six feet under, you see? He deserved to be put underground. He was flying a little too close to the sun, if you see what I'm saying. I do. Any items down here? Nope. Uh, let me go to the friendship checker. I want to see how Badu likes me. Not very well? Monferno neither? What about you? What about you? Okay, I guess they don't like me. <gasps> All that hard work for a pocket ball. I mean, I guess the hard work nowadays is just a po a an app on your watch. So, really, they couldn't have made that reward very enticing for the remake. Much like these wild encounters of Bidoof. Okay, nothing there. Let's get that honey tree going. And this NPC, don't say a word, just take it. Okay. We're just gonna take it. Oh, you wanna have a battle? I was meaning to enter a super contest show, but beating you won't take long. Hana! Is that a bee? That's a male bee. Male cone bee are more uh, prevalent than female ones, by the way. I think it's an 86.5% chance of finding a male combi. Or maybe 87.5. And it's like a 12.5% chance of finding uh, a female one. It's somewhere around those percentages. So in this case, this trainer had the more common uh, gender of combi. But also had a female Roselia because she's a female trainer. Oh, you have us beaten. I was really hoping that was the time that Mask would evolve. Bummer. We don't know what its friendship is with us, because it seems like none of my Pokémon are being very friendly with me. You, sir, you're an artist. Let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau. Mime Junior. You use a kid to help you sketch things? I mean, whatever, dude. Mime Junior is a psychic and fairy type Pokemon. So previously, it would take additional damage to dark moves. But now it is partly resistant to dark moves, so flying in dark would work just as well against it. Bonsly, another new baby Pokemon for this region. In fact, it was one of the first new Pokemon shown off for Gen 4. Bonsly is the baby form of Pseudo Wudo. And I think early versions of the anime that introduced Bonsly, like um, the Lucario in the Mystery of Mew movie, they thought it was pronounced Bonsly, which, I mean, I think everyone did. 
the structure of the word itself makes it seem like it'd be pronounced Bonsly. But it is Bonsly. I also don't remember what uh, new encounters we could find here. I know in Platinum, uh, Ralts could be found here. But other than that, I don't think there's anything for us. So let's head over into the next city. Hello, lady. Look very gauche. If you say Hot Home City, I only say this. Super contest shows. I'm going to do it to my darling Pokemon in them. Is that a Buneary just walking down the street singing Bun, 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 Buneary? Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my, away my Buneary could have run. Baby Buneary, back into the Pokeball you go. Oh, just instant transmission away. I mean, that, it was like that in the original games, too. I'm Kara. I'm a Super Contest show judge. Please drop by, by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Bye. Well, here we are in Heart Home. Hi, hi. Do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the Pokemon Nursery in Salacion Town. Want to take it? Sure. You don't seem to have enough room for the egg. Boo! I thought it would give me the prompt to say, hey, you want to deposit a Pokemon? But it apparently didn't want me to do that, so we're just going to deposit a Pokemon instead of going to the Pokemon Center to grab it. And there we go. We get a Pokemon egg. Eggs. They cannot battle for you, but after a certain amount of time of you running around with them, they will hatch. And when I say amount of time, I mean uh, the amount of steps you take depends or determines when it will hatch. We can get nest balls now, but still no great balls, which is a little bit of a bummer. Actually, you know what? I'm here now. Let's sell. We have some... Some sales to make. Where? Oh, wait, no, they're in the treasures now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, we've made it to Hard Home City. We got a Pokemon egg. There's a church over there. We're going to ignore it. Next time, we will be visiting the Super Contest Hall and probably also Amity Square. Because contests are dope, and I want to see if we can get any of our Pokemon to walk with us. In fact, let's see if all of our Pokemon can walk with us. It's going to be a fun time. 